do two things today that I very rarely do. I am going to recommend a switchblade, which typically I don't, and I'm recommending a Boker, which is a brand that I typically say to steer clear of, but this thing's really, really good, and you're, I don't think you're going to go wrong with it at the price point. You're going to be surprised. Let's turn us around, take a look at this awesome, awesome showing from Boker from above. So guys, I typically don't recommend switchblades, especially at the lower spectrum of price because they can be problematic and actually pretty bad. But this is a great little budget switchblade. This is coming in right now at like $49. I'm going to put a link to it, but this thing is absolutely great. And it's from a company that has really surprised me a few times. It's from Boker. Typically, I'm not a fan of Boker because they don't put out a lot of great knives. So this is absolutely an exception. This is the Boker Alluvial. It's a Linquist design in D2, and I absolutely have fallen in love with this. Let's get some specs out of the way because you're looking at, you know, a pretty nice knife uh, at the price. You're looking at a 7.8 inch knife overall, uh, 3.13 blade length, some weird measurements on that. It's aluminum. This is aluminum with an OD green. They also have a black uh, D2 blade in a drop point. And it's like I said, a push button auto and it's coming in right at about 3.1 ounces. So it's not heavy. The fact that they did an aluminum handle and they did it in kind of a clamshell really did reduce some of the weight. Let's do some quick size comparison so you can see it. Uh, first knife. I'm going to do two because out of character, I don't have anything in my pocket. So Benchmade 940, you can see almost one for one. Uh, Benchmade 940. So if you know the size of this, you know the size of this. Not a bad size point for this knife. And your final knife, as always, Chris the Benzel Large 21, a, a good bit bigger, actually. So this is kind of in a medium size point. Let's get this out of the way and talk about how good this knife really is. So let's get into this. This knife really has surprised me. I have definitely enjoyed having this here. This is a very nice light carry. It is really light. And the fact is, it's in a weight that I dig because where it's balanced, it's just in a neutral balance. So I don't have to worry about knowing where anything is. It's just really feels good in hand. So these aluminum handles uh, are done with, I'm not, I couldn't find out if it's a coating or what, but they're done in a, uh, like a, a textured handle with an area here that you get up on, but they're, they're not textured to the point where they're hard to get out of your pocket. So your pocket lip does not add a lot of tension. These are pretty smooth and allow you enough grip for the knife not to feel slippery, but not enough to pose problem when you're pulling it out of pocket. Um, the action on it, really good action on this. And then it comes down to this beautifully done blade. Now they've got it listed as a drop point, but what this reminds me of is a lot of the knives that you would see in like Arnold Schwarzenegger movies where the blade came down and then it, it, it cut in and it just, it really looks cool like that. I actually, I actually stopped to look it up. It's the uh, Jack Crane life support system. Um, and it, it's got a very distinct look like this. Amazing. It's the one that Arnold Schwarzenegger had in Commando at the last fight. This thing in hand, feels so good even though it's so simple you don't have a lot of like changes in, in the scales it's just pretty straight and then it just comes and ramps up here but it feels really really good in hand definitely some of the better jimping that i've had on a knife that came in recently it's not real broad but it is aggressive enough that you're not going to slide off of it but not so sharp that it feels uncomfortable the pocket clip is a nice deep carry pocket clip that's attached inside so you don't have anything catching underneath one of the problems with some of these pocket clips is that the pocket clip screws underneath can be a, a hindrance but it's on the inside of the clamshell here so you don't have to worry about that and it gives it a very secure feel in hand, the pocket clip just completely disappears, but this also allows you to carry it as deep as any knife you're going to find because, like I said, it comes all the way to the end. The button placement is in a really natural position for you to get on, and it is inside this milled out area. So you can see here, when the knife is closed, you're going to have a real hard time accidentally deploying this. Even if we put your finger on it and across it, like you have to literally put your finger on it and depress deeper than that. So you don't have to worry about bumping into something and have it, you know, come across and accidentally deploy, deploy the knife in your pocket. 
which is actually a cool feature. Some knives do have the button on the surface. The fact that they went with a clamshell means that you've got minimal hardware. So on this side of the knife, which is the side you're gonna have up, you don't have any hardware except for this area where your, your pivot and your button are. So there's no body screws just on this side. The clamshell design means that it is easier to take this knife apart, which I'm going to tell you right now, absolutely do not recommend taking apart an out the side auto unless you know what you're doing. They can be very problematic. And just the overall look at this knife is great. I dig the overall look about this, but I got to say it is one of the best knives Boker has done in a long, long time. It is just a a really good knife. I would like to see this knife in a flipper version, like a flipper liner lock. I think it would be great because not everybody can carry a switchblade these days. So with all the good things about this knife, I do dig it. I do love a bunch of stuff about it. There are some problematic things. So let's look at those right after you guys hear from this video sponsor. I got to tell you, they are minimal, minimal stuff. Guys, with Halloween officially being in the books, you know what that means. It's the start of the holiday season, which means Coffee Brand Coffee is starting to release some of their new flavors. You can see me opening up the one that they sent me right there. This is the butterscotch toffee. It is amazing. I'm having a cup of it right now. They have got some of the best flavored coffees you're going to find. All of their coffee is roasted on demand when you order it, ground or bean sent to your door. They also have cocoa. They have tea. They have got cold brew bags. And the thing is, now that it's the holiday season, they are starting to do their gift boxes. So if you want to get a gift for someone for, for Christmas, I absolutely recommend it. There is no risk because it's a money back guarantee if you try their coffee. And you can save 10% with my link. So check them out. Give them a shot. I absolutely love what they're doing over there. Guys, I got to get out of here and get back to filming. So just a couple of small things on this knife. Um, as much as I love how well it works, I think that the spring is a little bit stronger than it needs to be. Uh, I don't know if maybe it's because it's brand new and the spring hasn't lost some of the tension, but just hearing it snap open... That's not a real big stop pin in there for that to slam into. I, I've seen a lot of these knives with really strong. If you guys hear squeaking, the dog got a brand new squeaky toy from a friend and it's just, he's just going nuts with it. I, I've seen the stop pins break off on these and I've also seen blades break off. You don't necessarily have to have that strong of a spring. There's, it's, it's enough. It deploys. And as cool as it is to have that, that heavy snap, I'd be concerned about this over the long term, the amount of impact you're inducing. And then that can lead to some blade play issues. This already has a little bit of wiggle, not this way yet, but like back and forth. And that's common in, in autos, but it really is just something that concerns me. Next thing, a little bit off center. I went too far on that one. Um, it's a little bit off center. Um, and I don't think it's going to pose, pose a problem, but it is a little off center. And if that's one of your OCD things, uh, it might be something that you want to keep, take into account. Now, the next thing is not that big of a deal, but for some people it will be because of the way you wind up having to work. The, the grind, the sharpening grind is a little bit off and that's going to mean that you're going to have to take off more material on this side to match this up. It could be a primary grind issue, but I think it's just the edge grind. So as you're sharpening, you're gonna have a weird tip if you're using a fixtured system. Even if you're using stones, you're gonna take more material off here and you're gonna have to be real careful about how you do it. And with the grind, I'm not a fan of the plunge. So the grind being the last thing, the plunge, I wish they had just brought it all the way back or added a sharpening choil, like brought the, just take this material out and bring it to here. I think it would have made it a lot easier because you're going to wind up with a smile. And the fact is on that, when you start sharpening, you're going to slam that into your stones and you're going to chip, especially if you're using some of the stones that I use, you're going to chip that. You can see here where the plunge actually ends, the, the little bit of width here, it should have, that should have terminated about here and been brought all the way forward. But all in all, for a budget $49.50 switchblade, great, great showing from Boker. And like I said at the beginning, Boker has been known for putting out some really questionable quality knives. And I'm glad to see that some of these are getting better. So with that being said, that's the end of this video. Let's turn this around, do some final thoughts and send you out about your day. Guys, yeah, typically I don't recommend switchblades. I find them to be kind of gimmicky. They do have 
their place for like people that need one hand deployment for something. But you know, the, the fact is that with an out the side, then you have to use both hands to close it or, or another, you know, another method. So, and the fact that it's a boker and it's this good really does surprise me. So with that being said, this was a fun video. I'm really glad. I'm really surprised. I'm hoping that boker is going to start increasing quality. They have done some, re a few really good knives that I have liked in the last few years. And I'm glad to see that they're upping their, their, you know, their quality. So that's it on this one, guys. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Tell me why. If you don't, if you give it a thumbs down, you got to tell me why. Um, sponsors are down below. I know I threw an ad in. It is the holidays. And that's why you're seeing so much coffee brand coffee stuff because they've got holiday sales going on. So go check them out. Um, there is a, there's links for all of my sponsors, Tempered Trail, Doll Strong Knives, the Coffee Brand Coffee. Coffee Brand Coffee and Tempered Trail have discounts built into the links, but you can also use coupon code, uh, Crazy Sharp, all one word, uh, that also works at, uh, Farron Forge Knife Works and Rosecraft Blades. Rosecraft Blades has a big sale going on, I believe, as well right now at the time I'm filming this. So uh, I've got an Amazon store link down below. Take that pin at your browser. Use it for any Amazon shopping you're going to do. Check out my uh, memberships. I'm going to be giving away a lot of stuff before Christmas to give back to you guys that give so that I can make this channel work. So make sure you check that out. You got to be a baseline or premium guy premium tier member to get in on those giveaways. And I've built a public discord that you guys can get into, have some fun, hang out. If you've got questions, if you want to direct message me, all that stuff is down there. It's probably the best way to get a hold of me and no one is utilizing it. So only 15 people in there right now. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.